Communication defines our world, and now communication is defined by the internet and the tools that we use to replace in-person communication. This includes video conferencing. Video conferencing also implies etiquette and norms that have impacted our lives by providing new opportunities for communication, taking away some opportunities, and giving us a new mentally draining task to deal with. One of the things that we have to deal with is this new tool of Zoom that has many different layers and many different ways to use it. One of these ways is breakout rooms. These are good for peer-to-peer -peer interactions in small groups and peer-to-peer -peer learning that students would usually get in an in-classroom experience, either through group projects, but in the advent of Zoom, breakout rooms. There are also multiple units of communication being completed during these breakout sessions that would normally not be completed if it was a teacher presenting to a class, only asking questions every minute or so and only having one student answer at a time, compared to multiple students or all students interacting in small groups at the same time. With Zoom also comes the need for communication combined with the need for expediency. Time is a resource that we never get back and this new etiquette somewhat focuses on expediency due to the very nature of Zoom and it being only used as a substitute for what would happen in the real world or in a physical location. We don't see it as ideal. We see it as secondary. It is something that is being used as a substitute for what is optimal. Therefore, we only want to use it for what is necessary and what is going to be expedient, combined with the fact that people already have very busy schedules. And in professional environments, this is already part of an etiquette. But now we have to factor in being at home and making sure that we're not having too many distractions, including the background and who, whatever your living situation is, and whether you have pets or roommates or family members. Nobody wants to be in a Zoom meeting longer than they have to, generally speaking, especially in a professional setting, as we already said. Along with the opportunities that this has provided, it's also taken away a lot of opportunities, such as the amount of random interactions that we have. Breakout rooms don't always happen in all classes, and that's a peer-to-peer -peer interaction is something that is a big part of the way that we communicate, and those random interactions in particular are what I'm referring to. Uh, this only having selective interactions online professionally and even in our private social lives online, we're only interacting with those who connect with our life or more so. Uh, this is leading us to interact with more people that have similar opinions as us and are more like-minded. Another thing that has been taken away from us is the need to be somewhere. Being at home alone and not being forced to be in a physical location for school and for work has led to this to become the norm. We don't ever have a separation of what happens in our home and what happens in our professional life. We're constantly inviting people into our own home in a sense whenever we have uh, these online meetings through Zoom, which is which can be really mentally draining to have to learn all of this new etiquette along with the monotony of being at home all the time and having the knowledge that other people are seeing your home. 
another factor into this mental drain is the extended temporary period that this was supposed to be. COVID was not supposed to be this long. Nobody knows how long they, they were going to sustain these adaptations that they've made. And so since it, it could be seen as a temporary situation for many people, they might still ask themselves what the point is of learning all of these new adaptations if it's a temporary situation. Regardless, the new opportunities are happening. There are things that are going to be taken away from COVID that are going to sustain into life after COVID. Uh, there are things to be grateful for that are taken away from us right now. Um, things to look forward to, those random interactions, uh, the needing to be somewhere outside of the house and had the opportunity to be somewhere outside of the house and the looking forward to of this mental drain that we're all experiencing right now to being over and to having a home life and an outside life. This can be the new thing that defines our world, the looking forward, uh, uh, the looking forward to interaction in the real world.